Hi, my name is Gray Buckley. I'm a computer science student at the University of Utah and a backend developer for Chronos. I'm Andrew Haas. I'm a computer science student at the University of Utah. I mostly helped with designing and implementing the front end UI for our application Chronos. Hi, I'm Hui Huang, a senior computer science student at the University of Utah. Hello, I'm Hayden Daly, and I'm on the Chronos team. We are the developers of Chronos. Chronos is a tool for the game master of a tabletop role playing game. The Game Master is a person who both creates the world the game takes place in and mediates what happens when the character is controlled by the other players interact with it. As an on and off Game Master and as a student of computer science, I noticed a gap where the existing tools for organization and automation were inadequate. The Game Master has to keep track of a lot of characters, events, and other information. Traditionally, the Game Master would do this with notes on paper. Finding what you need quickly becomes cumbersome. This uses up time the GM could use to make a more interesting world. It also places restrictions on how complex and detailed the game can be. I've been playing in other GM's games for a while, and nobody keeps track of what time it is in their setting. It's always made up on the fly, and keeping track of multiple groups of characters at different locations in the same setting is always a daunting task. Two groups are traveling across a game world at different speeds and in different directions. Who arrives at their destination first? How far does group A travel while group B is off on an unexpected detour? If their paths intersect, do they encounter each other? You can't just hand wave it because that wouldn't be fair to the players. Now try making it four or 10 or 30 groups. It just can't be done with current methods. And as a byproduct of this, a group of characters can feel artificial and restrictive at times. What happens if a member of the group decides to leave and strike out on their own or with a new group? There's no good way to manage the resulting permanent split, so it just isn't allowed to happen. This is the gap I found, a gap in the tools for tabletop organization. And Hayden, Andrew, Huey, and I have created Kronos to fill this gap. Kronos is a tabletop data management system. We make it as quick and easy as possible to create, find, and modify information about your game, including characters, events, items, and more. We also provide numerous supplemental tools with the goal that you can almost entirely run your game through Kronos and far more efficiently than you ever could before. Let's take a look at how it works. I'll show some basic functionality first and build up to a very practical use case. I'll be building a system for a simple cowboy themed game. This is the page for one character. I just made this one, so it's completely blank. There also aren't very many fields to fill in because this is a new game system. Many different tabletop games exist, so Chronos allows you to customize which fields a character has. For now, I'll fill in this basic information. Now that this character's basic information is filled in, I'll show you how to give the characters in our system some more fields. Here we can see the names, types, and default values of the fields that every character in the system has. I'll add some custom ones now. I've added some attributes to represent the abilities of this character, a field to store when the character's next turn is, and a score field. We'll make a second character, and the new character has those custom fields. I'll now finish filling in the information for the characters we've made so far and create a few more. Now that we have a few characters, we'll look at the search page. Finding the character we need will always be easy because we can search and sort on any of the fields in the system. So if I want to find Wayne, I can search for Wayne. There he is. If I want to find the character from Georgia, but I can't remember her name, I can just search the description field for Georgia. And there she is. If I want to find the character whose turn is next, I just sort all characters by next turn. And now I know. Now that I know whose turn is next, I want to ask the player controlling this character what they want to do on their turn. Let's set up a few things to make that as easy as possible. First things first, we need to make a player object to represent the real life person playing this character. I'll fill in some details about this player now. This handle field here is the ID of my Discord account, so Kronos will be able to use this to send and receive messages with that account. All that's left is to send that person a message asking them what they want to do on their turn. We do that on the messages page. From here, I can send a message to many players. I'll send a simple message to myself.
And if I open Discord, we'll see that I did receive the message. I hope this demonstration gives an adequate look at how powerful Kronos can be and how liberating it is for a GM. There's even more advanced features like associations between objects, a map generator, and a programming language, Chronoscript. Furthermore, all the features of Kronos are integrated together. Chronoscript can send messages, the map generator draws characters in correct locations based on their coordinates, and Chronoscript can generate maps and send them to players. Unfortunately, we don't have time to explore every tool at the user's disposal, so instead I'll tell you a bit about the development of Kronos. Kronos is written in C Sharp on the back end and JavaScript on the front end. Our database is a Microsoft SQL server hosted on the user's machine. We chose a local instance for a few reasons. First of all, we at Kronos are strong believers in data privacy and security. The GM is the only person who needs direct access to the data of their game, so we reason that they should be in complete control of that data. In addition, while some features of Kronos inherently require a stable internet connection, we wanted to maximize the offline capabilities of Kronos. One of the pillars of our design philosophy is to make as few assumptions about the way you want to run your game as possible. Finally, we want the Kronos product to remain active even if the Kronos team does not. I intend to continue improving and supporting Kronos in the future, but I can't guarantee that I will always be able to support the cost of a remote server. For these reasons, we decided to use a local instance for the Kronos database. One of the key technologies we made use of was the Discord bot. As we just saw, our users can make use of the Discord instant messaging infrastructure to centralize communication with their players into a single searchable feed and integrate that communication channel with the map generator. In addition, both text and map features of Discord are integrated with Chronoscript, meaning sending of messages and maps and processing of responses can be programmed and automated. We also made use of Electron in our front end. The Electron framework helped us present the information of Chronos in a clean, efficient graphical interface. We at Kronos are very proud of the work we've done and what we've accomplished, and if any viewers are active or prospective game masters, we would appreciate it if they downloaded Kronos and gave it a try themselves. There are many advanced features of Kronos that will receive video tutorials in the coming weeks, posted on our YouTube channel. Both the download and the channel can be reached from our web presence. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.